Hey guys, it's iTalkApple, and today I'm really excited to review a new application called MacKeeper. And MacKeeper is a system maintenance application, but it's really way more than that. It's pretty much every utility or tool or service that you possibly need for your Mac all in one application. So I'm on MacKeeper.zobit.com right now, which is the website. I really recommend you check it out because it tells you all you need to know about the application. There's a lot of information about all the utilities and tools in the application. And you can also create an account. Read more about MacKeeper at MacKeeper.zobit.com. It's got a lot of information about the tools and the services that they offer, um, features, and of course you can download right from their website. So here's MacKeeper and it's a really clean interface. On the sidebar all the tools are organized. There's cleaners, tools, and services. There's your main status right here and one click scan. On the right side you'll notice that there's 24-7 customer support which is an awesome feature. So there's live chat, you can email or you can call on the phone and they can help you out with the application. So I'm going to go ahead and select one click scan. One click scan is great if you don't want to go through all the processes separately, it'll get things done faster. And you have this kind of cover flow view and you can go through each one of the utilities and see how each utility um, is performing right now. And you can do everything just from this one click scan. While it's scanning, I'll go over a few of the individual cleaners. First is binaries cutter. So you'll notice whenever a cleaner is selected or anything in this application, on the right side it'll have a summary of what it is. So if you're really not sure what it's doing, you'll you can just read the short description and it'll help you understand. Binaries cutter is to help you save space because every application contains support for the PowerPC architecture and then the Intel architecture. This binaries cutter removes the support that the application has for one of the architectures because let's say you're running an Intel Mac, you don't need the support for the PowerPC architecture. So you can save a lot of space doing this. So on the side here you'll notice that it tells you how much space I'm saving for this specific cutter, 1.2 gigabytes at this moment, but it's not even done scanning yet. So for each application it tells you the unnecessary size and you can always stop the process if you want. The cache cleaner can remove old cached files to save space. You can read more about them on the website. Duplicates finder is a really useful one. It takes longer to scan but it's really useful because it searches for identical files even if they've been renamed. So you can delete those unnecessary copies and save a lot of space sometimes. Languages Cutter can remove languages, language support from a lot of applications. For example, I'm sure a lot of you don't speak several of these languages and you might want to remove them to save some space. Also group by the application or the language. And then Old Files Finder is another really useful one. Um, this finds files that have not been used over a certain time span that you can set in the preferences of the application so you can delete files that you know you aren't going to use anymore, you won't need anymore. And this is especially useful if you already have a backup of these files because then why have them take up space on your main hard drive? Although there are individual applications that will delete um, support for binary or that will cut your language support, this application has all of these cleaners plus more in one along with summaries on the side which are really useful. Next category is tools. So as you can see there's a backup tool and all you have to do is add any folder or hard drive even that you want to backup, name it, and select how many copies you want to backup, whether it's manual or hourly, daily, weekly, or monthly, and where you want to back it up to. Now something really cool about this is you can back it up to obviously an external hard drive or a flash drive, but you can also back up up your files to an FTP server, so online, or this new feature that's coming called Zeodisk. Zeodisk I'll talk about a little more under the services feature. Data encryptor is to encrypt data, so if you have any personal files you can store them in here and you'll need a password to access them. The default apps tool allows you to change which application will open by default for certain file extensions. The disk usage is also really useful. It's 
helps you to detect large files on your hard drive. So I have showed you an application that can help you do this more visually, but again, it's great to have all these tools in one application. And scanning for disk usage is surprisingly really fast. And for all of these um, cleaners, all the scanning is really fast and efficient. Login items is just another way to manage what applications or items launch when you log into your Mac. And you can also do this by system preferences if you want. Shredder allows you to delete confidential files so you won't have any chance of recovering them. Really useful, but you have to be careful when using it obviously so you don't delete something by mistake. Undelete is really cool. You select your um, hard drive or volume that contains the lost files, click start scan, and it will actually restore deleted files. Wise Uninstaller lets you completely remove applications, widgets, preference panes, and plugins. Again, it's really useful. Whenever you delete an application from your Mac, I recommend using this Wise Uninstaller because it makes sure that you delete the application completely. So those are all the tools. And the final category here on the side is services. So these are also really neat features. You have anti-theft. All you have to do is go to the website, log in, and click the alert button to make your computer send a report of its location so you can actually find it or help police find it. Geek on Demand is a really um, unique feature. Most I've not seen an application that has something like this. All you have to do is make a demand and a professional or expert in this, that specific field will help by answering your question or solving your problem. If I click on the Geek On Demand summary on my account here, you'll see that I have no demands, but I only have one demand left. That is because you only get one demand with the application, but you can buy demands. One demand is $9.95 and I mean, that's not too bad. If you do have Apple Care already, you shouldn't really need this, but if you don't and you buy this application, you get one demand for free. And finally, Zeodisk is this thing that I... Zeodisk is what I mentioned earlier um, that will help with that backup tool. With Zeodisk, you can access any files that you've put on your Zeodisk from anywhere in the world, as long as you have an internet connection, of course. And you can share your files, and of course, recover files. I'll quickly go into the preferences. As you can see, there's general preferences. You can select which cleaners you want to run during the one-click scan. There's individual preferences for the um, cleaners, so the binaries, duplicates, languages, all of this. So for languages, this is useful because you can select to retain certain languages. Of course, um, English is selected by default. And the old files, you can choose how old you want to be searching for. And there's the backup options for backup destinations, disk usage, and shredder. You can change the shredding algorithm. So just to show you what happens when you use one of the cleaners, I'm in the binaries cutter right now. When I select remove, it will remove all of the applications with the little check marks next to them. Prompts you for your password. As you can see, there's a little icon. I'm getting the spinning wheel, but um, there's a little icon that shows you um, the process. It shows you how much time you have left before they're all removed, and it's done. So that happened in a few seconds. And now if I go back to status, it tells me how much I've actually cleaned from my hard drive using this application. So 1.2 gigabytes so far, just with the binaries cutter, and it saved me 13 cents. So I'm not sure how they figure out how much money it saves you. Thanks for watching this video about MacKeeper. I really recommend this application. It's a lot better than every other maintenance application that I've tried. And it's only $39.95. And it tells you here, if you were to buy a bunch of these applications separately, it would be about $318. I don't know how accurate that is. But either way, you're definitely saving money if you buy MacKeeper. And to get more information on how to get a free license, just go to their website, and also following them on Twitter will get you a 10% discount along with becoming a fan on Facebook. So thanks for watching, check out MacKeeper, and if you like it, it's definitely worth the money.